right, man. A lot of fans split on should the Lions bring back Jonah Jackson. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Because Jonah Jackson be injured. I think he's injured for the championship game, MC championship game. So, uh, but when he's in there, the Lions is just a different <laughs> football team. And everybody just think that you can plug replace and plug somebody else in to get the same effect. And, um, you know, Jonah Jackson is a difference maker. Now, if I'm going to pay him record money, probably not. If he was healthy, he probably one of the best guards. When healthy, probably one of the best guards, you know, in the league. So, I mean, they have shown ability to still be effective like in the NFC Championship game against the 49ers that they can maneuver without him with a backup. So, I mean, guard is not that prestigious. Really, when you're talking about the most important positions on the line, it's the left tackle. It's the quarterback's blind side. So if you're a left-handed quarterback, that will be the right tackle. If you're the right-handed right orthodox quarterback, it's the left tackle. So, yeah. But um, also, you know, center is important too, right tackle. Then you worry about the guards, but uh, but that's a sticky one because um, that's a sticky one because now you don't bring them back. So then, how do you how do you feel that? I mean, we got good offensive line play throughout the years from different places. Remember, we drafted Lee Adrian. Well, we got Lee Adrian Waddle. We got him, uh, excuse me, we got him as an undrafted free agent. He was really good. He just can't stay healthy. You got Larry Warford in the third. You did draft Corey Soresdale. Is he ready? Obviously, he ain't quite ready because they had the other black guy step in at left guard. So now you adding something to your itinerary at left guard. So, you know, what is going to be? That's the question. Is the guy that was in there, it's Moscow, I forget his name, for the 49er game, is he good enough to step in right now and be the guard? That's the million dollar question. Is he good enough right right now to step in and be the guard? So that's the that's the million dollar question. And if he ain't good enough right now to step in to be the guard, you know, you think you can replace something. I mean, you know, Jonah Jackson, that line is, is he makes a big difference. Amongst that line when he's active and when he's healthy. It ain't like he been, he missed some games, but, you know, he be there for the most part. Tough guy, but at the end of the day, you know, if you can go with an option, if you feel like you can get Source Deal ready, you can get the other guy ready, you still got to reload that position because Big V don't even know why they brought him back. So you still got to reload with somebody that's going to provide depth. If you take a, a bench player and make him a starter, you need to refill that bench. So they got some questions to be had. Me personally, if I can come to a dollar amount that we can agree on, yeah, you know, yeah, because you start thinking about the needs that the Piston, the Lions got, you start talking about they need two corners. You know what I'm saying? They need an interior defensive lineman. They need a pass rusher on the edge. They can use, you know, one of them. They can use a receiver that can stretch the field. So they got quite a few pressing needs in my opinion. So, you know, if you can, you know, you know, you know, keep, a, you know, not worry about having to go get another offensive lineman, you know, and, um, and keep Jonah Jackson, then you straight. I mean, in my opinion, Taylor Decker is another guy. If you're going to talk about getting rid of uh, Jonah Jackson, no matter how long he's been part of the losing organization, he's another guy that's just, he's just there. He's steady, but come on, there's an upgrade that could be had. I think, you, I think that's another conversation to be had too. That they eventually, I think this year also have to probably draft a young right tackle, and get him to be prepared to step in in a couple seasons and move so well to the left tackle position. When you done with Taylor Decker, so you know you want two of your draft picks to be a guard and a right tackle. I mean, that's the question. You know, people say you can go out in for agency and get somebody. Why not just keep the guy on the team? You know, but if injury concern is, is that high a risk and you don't think he going to be available for big games or the majority of games, then you got to move on. I would rather keep him. But 
If he asking for astronomical dollar amount, then guess what? You go draft somebody or you prepare somebody else to be ready on that roster to step up and assume that position. And they've been drafting young guys. You know, Stenberger just didn't work out. We'll see what happened with Sorsdale. He was a, a a college right tackle transitioning the right guard, transitioning the guard. You know, Matt Nelson was a good right tackle, but I think maybe he was injured this year, converted tight end from college to to tackle. So, you know, at the end of the day, there may be a little bit more furniture moving on the offensive line, especially this offseason and going into the next offseason. You probably see Big V gone. You can see Johnny Jackson gone. Obviously, Graham Glasgow a free agent. I don't see why you wouldn't bring back Graham Glasgow. That 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 would make too much sense. So, um, you know, we'll see. But yeah, that offensive line could be, you know, in the next course of the next couple of years, you can see new starters in there, new players in there, and guys and new, you know, different guys in new places like Suell at left tackle. I think eventually that's going to happen. We knew that when they drafted him. So. Me personally, I would love to keep Jonah Jackson around because he makes a huge difference on that roster. But the problem is, is his health. The problem is, is his health. So, and I understand where people is saying that you know, health-wise, that you know, you know. But when you when he when somebody is that you know, it's a huge difference when Jonah Jackson is playing on that line. And um, when he playing on that line and uh, when he not, it's a huge difference. You know, you just, you put a backup in there, you do things to help that back out, up, back up, up, back up, up. You, you do things to help the back up out, right? With Jonah Jackson, you know, they just different. In my opinion, if it was up to me, as long as the price, the price point is doable, I, I keep them. I keep developing source deal. Going in draft, I'll probably look for a developmental right tackle to take over eventually. Kick Swell to the left. Bring Black Graham Glasgow. I'll keep that line intact. Get a couple. Continue to develop some young wolves behind them so we can, if we have to move on from somebody, we can plug and <laughs> play with somebody else. So, yo, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all our notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Appreciate the love and support. Like I said, hit the link tree. You know, Instagram, uh, Facebook, back on there, Spotify, Anchor, X, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.